Hi, this is JJ DiGeronimo, the president of Purposeful Woman, and I'm here again with Tracy McBride. Hi, Tracy. Hi, good to see you again, JJ. We're so excited to have you. Not only are you an image consultant, but a wardrobe stylist for T. McBee, and we are continuing our Communicating Your Visual Brand series. So today, the question is, what do you mean by embracing your imperfections? Well, that's a great question, and we really do need to embrace ourselves just as right. we are. Mm -hmm. And we all hear that all the time, but I still hear women not necessarily doing it. And I'll tell you probably one of the biggest things that it affects is women are making entire decisions on an entire outfit on one body part and usually it's the thing that they're most uncomfortable about and I'll share a re an, ex an example for instance this is a common one but I'll use the story from one particular gal she's five foot one so she's petite she perceived her tummy area as much larger than it really was so I noticed that every time we put a great outfit together while we're in her closet she always, when she walked to the mirror, would look straight at her tummy. And if she thought that the tummy didn't look right or perfect, <laughs> that she didn't like the outfit. So it really worked working with her and really under, helping her see herself differently. It was about taking a photograph of her and having her actually see herself in a photograph. It was very different than what she saw in the mirror. But really, she in her mind made her stomach so much different than it really was in reality. And women do that with their bust, their thighs, their tush, whatever. We do it. And it is really about getting right balance in your wardrobe and just looking your best. We are who we are. Yes. We're not going to change most of those things. It's interesting because I remember an old Oprah where she took women and said, put yourself where you think you belong in this lineup of women size-wise. And women would notoriously be three or four away from their actual body type. Right. So, for instance, in the photos that you're, you're showing here, is one of them is the body types. Someone who's a size 12, if you lined up all size 12 women, and they're all different heights, their shoulders are different widths, their hips are slim, yeah. some are wider, some have no waist, some have a very defined waist. We're all going to be different as size 12. So don't beat yourself up when you're in a store and you're trying on a size 12 or whatever size you are and it doesn't fit. It, you have to understand that the manufacturers don't have any guidelines. They can make their 12 totally different than everybody else's 12. So we can't go by these numbers and dictate how we dress ourselves with just a number. Right. And this is really where I try to help women see how right. they can perceive themselves as something they're really, they're making it such a big deal that it really isn't. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. And so do you have any tips uh, that yes. women can follow? I do. It's really about checking outside of yourself because you know how we get in our own head yeah. and we make stories up and beliefs up in our head. And if you can believe something negative, you can also believe something positive. Mm -hmm. So that is really where you want to move toward. But also it's about taking photos of yourself because I have found that what you see in a mirror versus what you see in a photograph can be two very different things. Uh. So get another perspective and that means hire somebody professional who can help you see yourself differently and maybe tweak the proportions that you're wearing so that it distracts from whatever it is that you think is standing out like a sore thumb. That This is great advice, Tracy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.